Hey YouTubers, welcome to the vlog. Uh, I am at the Carling View Hotel and uh, we get up first thing in the morning and we leave through the, from the shuttles to Terminal 3. Then I get on my plane and I think my plane flies to LaGuardia and then from LaGuardia to Dallas. And then we pick up the car there and all that stuff. So we're staying here tonight and uh, it's just one of those cool things where you let me just turn like that. Look at that lighting. Nice. That's better. Uh, you, if, it's funny. We discovered if you don't book it a certain way, they'll charge you for parking here. If you park it a different way, I don't know what it is because I didn't uh, arrange the hotel. So you can arrange it so that you stay here. They take you to the airport for you first thing in the morning. And they'll pick you up from there and bring you back when you arrive back in Toronto. And you can just leave your car here and supposedly it's free. But if you don't book a certain way, they charge you $50. So I'll have to look into that and make sure that doesn't happen to me. Anyway, so I'm going to just kick back, relax, have a beverage, and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. It's 4.30 in the morning and we are good to go and the shuttle bus is ready to go. All right, so now i got to find... Delta. And I am flying into um where is I'm flying into LaGuardia. Alright, so Delta is this way in the terminal. And I'll be checking in. Then grab a Tim Hortons, have a coffee, check the email, stuff like that. All right, <clears throat> made it through customs. I'm departing at a gate A7. So, found my gate. And as you can see, there's nothing around here. So now I gotta walk all the way back to hopefully where Tim Hortons is. Cause I need my coffee. Unbelievable. Tim Hortons is on the other side of that glass. And I forgot my glass cutters. Because they're important when you're looking for coffee. All right, so if you're ever in this terminal, I guess it's the WestJet terminal. Uh, there's, a, there's no Tim Hortons on this side of the airport. It's on the other side of that glass. I went all the way down to that end and I saw one of those vendors selling water and it was $3.95. Uh, but the one that's right here, like there, is $2.95. So, Get your water as you go through customs. Get your water there if you want to get water. On my way down the gangplank to board the plane. Nothing too exciting at this point. ready for takeoff. stadium that is.
Thank you. You take care now. Thank See ya. You. You got wheels, use them. So I just got off my plane right there, and my next plane leaves right there. That's kind of cool. Don't have to go anywhere. Don't have to rush. Don't have to run through terminals, get shuttles, and almost miss your next flight. But I've got like two hours. So what can you do in an airport for two hours? Let's see. This is a part of LaGuardia I've never seen before. But they've got all the internet connections and laptop, I mean, uh, tablets and stuff for you. The bar brace right there. As I was walking by this restaurant, I saw somebody had uh, Eggs Benedict. So it is Eggs Benedict time. I ordered Eggs Benedict and an orange juice and it came to $29.18. That's including tax and gratuity. So there it is. Half decent looking, not bad. I kind of like my uh, hollandaise sauce, just a little bit thicker than that. But uh, I'll let you know what the experience is like when we're done. All right, let me eat already. Well, the orange juice was not bad. Uh, and the Eggs Benedict, I've definitely had better. Uh, if you were to stop by this airport, I guess it would be a recommend. Kind of in between an indifferent and a recommend, and a would recommend, but it was okay. It's around uh, 9.30 and I think the plane leaves at 10. So sometimes they get people going on obviously earlier than later. So I was going to go to the gate plus I don't think I have a boarding pass see if they can print me off a new boarding pass but it's uh, 9 30 now uh, this plane departs at 10 20 but she said be close to the gate around 9 50 that's when they start boarding so but the one that's going to Syracuse New York is delayed so I'm not sure what's gonna happen I might be delayed because of that plane they're using the same gate oh well because I'm gonna lounge in the lounge. Uh, the plane is delayed by 25 minutes, so instead of leaving at 10.20, it's now leaving at 10.45. Uh, all, the people, all the people are just getting off the plane now. And it looks like our captain's trying to get back on the plane. And as you can tell, there's a lot of people waiting to board this plane, and they haven't called our rows yet. Oh, we're next, I think. I'm not sure why, but they're taking some people's bags away from them. Don't know what the dealio is with that. Here we go down another gangplank. Time to board another plane. Delta Sky Team and our global partners. Welcome aboard Delta Connection Flight 7316 with Sir Underneath so the seat for a window seat. You should be able to have room for your legs. And the larger roller board should be placed in the overhead bin above your seat. Oh well. The safety information card details the location and operation of the exit nearest you. Remember, it may be behind you.
Thank you, sir. All right, you're very welcome. Thanks for making it work. The uh, gangplank or whatever the thing is that attaches to the airplane, they're having problems with it. So we sat there for about five, ten minutes. And they were thinking if it didn't work, they were going to move us to another gate, which would have really sucked. All right, so I'm meeting Carl, not Carol, Carl. And then go downstairs. E30, I think. So I'm gonna shut this off and book it. Well, they say everything in Texas is big. Check out this hallway. Yeah, that's big. All right, guys, the surprise is over. Uh, I am here in Texas with Carl, and uh, Carl has a fishing show, so I thought I'd come down and help him just videotape some stuff for his YouTube channel. And uh, so, Carl went for, uh, he did catfish and chicken. And chicken. And, oh, you had catfish, chicken, and, and, and beef. So he's done the whole barnyard kind of food. I just did catfish, because I don't recall ever eating catfish before. Uh, biscuits, we got taters and gravy, <laughs> and a lot of corn. And of course, uh, a Texas drink called Coca-Cola. You may, you may have heard of it. Anyway, we're gonna pig down now. We are here in Gun Barrel City, Texas. This is the city hall. And uh, it is 78 degrees Fahrenheit which is like in the mid 20s, I think. Celsius. Anyway, I'm gonna go in here and check it out. We are in Walmart, just picking up a few things. Check it out. Oh, it must have moved. Okay, I have one bed for 16 or uh, $58 until August 31st. How much? 58. Oh, what's the other one? 16, it's one day. Um, we're staying at uh, La Quinta Inn and Suites. It's actually a pretty nice place. Let's take you in for a quick tour. Not bad. Very nice decor. One of the things I've learned on these trips always takes the stairs. Unless you got stuff to carry. It really helps when you're eating lots of food. I'm gonna try really hard not to eat lots of food. I'll make sure people just give me small samples of food. It just smells like the hotel just got fresh paint or something. But it's pretty, it's pretty. It reminds me of uh, the Titanic. Not that it's gonna sink or anything, but just the look of it. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here is our room. Here is our washroom. Big breath. After climbing all those stairs. Nice, clean, fresh looking. We've got our, I'll take that out, put my luggage on. It's actually quite a nice room. I don't think any of the other rooms have been as nice as this room. And that desk is this dynamite. That's why I'll be editing your vlog. And uh, I've got a fridge. Oh, bless my soul. Look at that. Yes, I will. Got a microwave and a view. And what a burger is just down there. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna sit back, relax, probably have a shower after that crazy flight of many stops and uncomfortableness. So let's do it. Uh, I finished all my editing up to this point, pretty much. Uh, now we're going over to Hector's, which is uh, one of the places we might be actually videotaping at 
and showing you some of their food. But they've offered to let us come and enjoy first. So I'm looking forward to that, as I'm sure you are. Eat at an authentic place. Nice, cool, neat. Look at that sun. Holy. And it's just right over there. Not too far. And the Whataburger is just over there. So, let's go check it out. All right, so Hector's was awesome. Sorry I didn't videotape in there. There were a lot of people and lots of noise, but uh, I had enchiladas, and, and then the second word of the enchiladas started with a V, verde or something like that. So I had three enchiladas, refried beans, rice, and uh, their guacamole was amazing. And they give you a thing of chips and salsa to, to get your taste buds going before the meal. Uh, but it was absolutely fantastic. I'm, I'll debate whether or not I'll uh, shoot a show there and uh, show you what it's like in Hector's. All right, so thanks for watching Ken's vlog. Sorry, not sorry, because you guys don't like when I say sorry, because you guys like long vlogs sometimes. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this travel vlog and we will see you tomorrow. Maybe I'll have some time to shoot some of the fishing stuff for you.